Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. I deeply appreciate you. And as a thank you, once I do reach 8,000 subscribers, I will be giving away two free readings to somebody who is subscribed and leaves a comment. So I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Today we're asking the question, how are they feeling about you right now? We have pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. Just take a moment, figure out which one feels right for you. And we are going to move on to pile number one. I just want to remind everybody though, that the way to contact me is through the email in the description right below the timestamps. I do not solicit anybody in the comments. And if that happens, that is not me. And we want to keep our community safe from people who might want to take advantage. So my gorgeous people, time for pile number one. How are they feeling about you right now? How are they feeling about you right now? Cosmic connection. This person is feeling very, very connected to you right now person may feel like there is some kind of deeper connection. This person, however, may be deeply into rationalizations. They may be very much in their head. They may very much feel a connection, but want things to make sense in a very logic bound way. Two of Cups, mutual affection, and caring, lots of passion. And there's nothing wrong with the king or the queen of swords, but this person may have some problems with figuring out this connection because they want it to make logical sense. This person, however, with the Nine of Cups and the Rider, this person does rep, does accept and see that you bring them a lot of happiness, so they do want to bring, move things forward in this connection. So, my gorgeous and talented pile number ones, how does your person feel about you right now? King of Wands, yeah, I think that this person is going to take action. This person does have a lot of passion for you. This person is very aware that you bring a lot of happiness and joy into their life. Wish fulfillment. Page of Wands. I feel like they need to uh, communicate in some way that they want to move things forward sun but they have had some kind of revelation and that could lead to greater stability between the two of you how are they feeling about you right now oh eight of swords this person like i said this person wants things to make sense in their head and they have things thoughts that are limiting that are not necessarily a true limitation So while this person has a lot of passion, Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands coming out for the second time, um, this person might be putting up some kind of barriers in this connection because of the imbalance they have going on within themselves. I feel like this person does need to make the choice to stabilize your relationship and make do what it takes to stabilize themselves so you can have the Ten of Pentacles. However, this person really needs to tell you, give you some knowledge, let you know. And this person is being self-limiting. Clarity on the Eight of Swords. Page of Pentacles. That is slowing the offer towards a commitment. How is Pile One's person feeling about them right now? Search out 
the space and places for you. They may not be where you think. This person, it could be that this person is realizing that the person that is for them might be different than who they might have thought it was. Maybe you're being asked to keep on searching out people who fill, fulfill you. Learn to be intuitive. But I really feel like this person is having to be intuitive and having to struggle with that intuitiveness to not put up barriers. Strength. This person has the capacity to overcome what is in front of them. They have very strong feelings and they have strong passions for you. This person is going to have to be brave. This person has can't be a coward. And this person may need to trust their intuition even if it may not cerebrally make sense completely. So we've got snake. Now snake is rebirth, but it is also a potential enmity. Um, we also have the bear. The bear is much like the strength card. There is nothing that can really stand in the bear's way. But I feel like this person is holding on to a burden that does, you know, that this person needs to release. This person needs to use the strength that they do have. So that there can be a change within them and a transformation within the connection. Because the snake sheds the skin. So they are a card of healing and transformation as well as something that might not be completely safe. So... I feel like there does need to be transformation in this relationship. We have the rat, so this person may have been scared, may have been running from this relationship. We have the Ace of Wands term, so this person has a lot of passion. I mean, this person also has a lot of feelings. This person might be a little bit more comfortable with passion or expressing passion and the intellectual than they are with the feelings, but they very much feel this connection and they very much want a new beginning. But this person, uh, I feel like with the Alice person is getting some wisdom regarding the situation. And wisdom isn't just about like the facts we know, but how we apply it to our lives. I feel like they recognize this is a very special connection, that you are a very special person, that you are somebody that makes them happy and makes them smile. Um, so I say overall this person is going to take some kind of actions towards this connection because this person very, very strongly feels this connection. But they have to get over the walls that they're putting up and the limitations that aren't true limitations that they have taken on. So I hope that this helps you. If you do want a free reading, I'm going to be giving away two as soon as I hit 8,000 subscribers. So be subscribed and comment. And you are in the running for that. Uh, again, uh, if you do want to contact me or book with me, my email is in the description right below the timestamps. That is the way to get in contact with me. Um, I just want to make sure that you guys don't contact anybody um, from the comments because I am not going to solicit you in that way. And that way we can make sure that you are speaking to me and I can take care of you. So my gorgeous and talented pile number two, how is your person feeling about you right now? Pile number two, how are they feeling about you right now? Intuition. This person has some level of inner knowing regarding you. Um, we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a potentially psychic person. 
um, but also somebody with deep emotions. They may not be somebody who's effusive with those emotions, however. Eight of Swords and the Hanged Man. I feel like this person has some kind of inner knowing regarding this connection. This person has some deeper feelings regarding to this connection, but this person, there is some kind of stagnation within this connection. Does this person feel like you are stuck? This person feels like they have limitations that aren't truly accurate rem limitations, but the limitations we take on are as true as we believe them to be. So this person has some kind of mental prison that they have put themselves in and they do need a different perspective, even though they already have the mental, emotional, spiritual intuition coming forward. So what a, what about this enlightenment that will allow them to move forward? We've got the King of Swords and the Lilies, which are peace. Is this person seeking peace? I feel like it would be logical for this person to create peace in this situation with you. Tell me about this self-limiting belief, the Ace of Cups, the new emotional beginning. This person has deep feelings, but they have some kind of mental prison regarding an emotional new beginning. How are they feeling about you right now, Ace of Cups? It doesn't make the feelings go away though. But this person, like the Ace of Cups is on the table here, a new beginning in love, a new beginning emotionally. And this person is not clear enough within their own emotional um, body in order to choose the best option. How are they feeling about you right now? Strength. This person needs to overcome any kind of, like this person needs to be brave. This person maybe needs to know that they're strong and resilient enough to take a risk because there is three of swords. This person may be afraid of having a new beginning because of past heartbreak. This could be past heartbreak with you, or this could be past heartbreak that is keeping them from making this choice to have this emotional new beginning. We need some clarity on that seven of cups, the moon. Yeah, this person has access to, you know, the spiritual, the intuition, the intuitive, and this person could use that to um, figure out what actually is the right choice for them. But there are times where we deal with the unknown, where we have to have some kind of intuitive faith or we fall into the fears that we can be hurt and this person um, has to go through a little bit of that dark night of the soul. Third time the Ace of Cups is here and the Gentleman. This person has to face their fear and navigate by their intuition in order for there to be that new emotional beginning that is so obviously available. Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. But this person has to face their fear. And they have to face their fear regarding being hurt. Two of Wands. Because even though they were hurt, it's still up to them to choose how they move forward in their life. Hmm. 
How are they feeling about you right now? How are they feeling about you right now? Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is good. I feel like they do want there to be balance. They do know that you make them happy. They need to look at the big picture and learn the necessary lessons so that you guys can have the rebirth between the two of you so that there can be clarity so you guys can have long-term success and happiness. Happiest card of the deck, second happiest card of the deck, but this person is having to do some emotional growth. And this person may be so afraid of getting hurt that they're not doing the logical thing and going after the person that makes them happy. So I hope that this helps. I'm gonna pull a little bit more cards. How are they feeling about you right now? Be good to people, it all comes back to you. So this person may be some, uh, see you as somebody that is um, very good to people. This person may need to realize that the, that the goodness that they put out can come back to them. Uh, be careful what you wish for. Your thoughts become prayers and the universe only knows how to say yes. This person is somewhat preoccupied with heartache and fear. So they need to be careful what they are manifesting within that because they might be manifesting things to reinforce that heartbreak and fear when they have a real opportunity and a new beginning and a really happy long-term relationship. How are they feeling about you right now? How are they feeling about two cards? Interesting. Emotion and limitless. Is this person feeling limitless? Because the, I believe that, that, I thought the Eight of Swords came out, but I feel like this person is going to have to embrace that the limitations that they feel aren't real true limitations. Um, and they're going to have to do this by uh, dealing with their emotional body. Queen of Cups. Knowing that if they make the right choice, there is a Queen of Cups to their King of Cups. There is a, you know, feel like this person needs to realize that there can be happiness. That not everything necessarily doesn't work out. That the things that this person feel are limitations are not limitations. Good news, the stork. So it could be, it could be pregnancy, it could be a child. Um, it could just be good news and a message of a new beginning. But we've got new beginning and old, you know, something ending. We got the nine of pentacles. Uh, if, if this person's limit, uh, limitation is that they are building something else with somebody, then that will have to end for you guys to have a new beginning. I feel like that's not for most of you, but that could be some of you. Ultimately, though, it's um, this person needs to be able to really set to bed the limitations and the fears so that they can be in control of the emotions so that their flow between the two of you can be limitless. So how are they feeling about you right now? How are they feeling about you right now? I had the um, rose quartz which is about love. I have, this is interesting because both of these represent connections. Both of these are good connections. One of them is slightly more robust and strong. There is a transition here. So you guys might be transitioning to a more robust and strong connection from an existing connection. But there is some kind of, ro and I feel like not for most of you, but some of you, there might be another party, but there could be a transition from one thing, one connection to another connection. 
but for those of you where it's not a third party it's 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 having there be a connection that becomes a much more secure connection we've got sigh and again this person has some this person has access to the knowledge that they would need they just need to trust their intuition so we have the wonder woman we have it's a boy again there could be a child involved at some point um, but also this person may be dealing with childhood issues that are coming into your relationship so I've got from so again there's this thing of a transition um, we have the sad face um, we have the number three we have a beautiful connection and we have the throat chakra again this is throat chakra throat chakra just the colors so I feel like there is going to be a greater opening of that throat chakra between the two of you because there is this connection there is um, this knot between the two of you you are highly connected but I feel like right now there is some kind of sadness here what is this transition for the fa uh, from so I feel like there's a transition from being afraid to get hurt to allowing you allowing happiness which are two different energies so I hope that this helps you if you do want a free reading I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 8,000 subscribers I can remember how to talk and think <laughs> Um, so if you want to get in on that, the re uh, what you need to do is make sure you are subscribed and you comment. Um, and I will pick two as soon as I hit that 8,000 subscriber mark. I will put it up on the uh, community um, pay, uh, the community scrolling page. So when we are ready for that, that's what will happen. If you do want to book with me, my email's in the description right below the timestamps so just make sure that if you want to contact me that is the way you contact me because then you will actually be contacting me i do not solicit in the comments if anybody does that to you it is not me because we just want to keep our community safe so my gorgeous and talented pile number threes How are they feeling about you right now? How are they feeling about you right now, pile number three? Celestial teacher, how are they feeling about you right now? Four of pentacles. How are they feeling about you right now? Ace of pentacles and the page of swords. I feel like on some level this person feels like they may be receiving some kind of life lesson from you. I feel like that there is a need for a new beginning in truth and clarity, but there is somebody that is either holding on way, way too hard or holding back way too much. And there is an opportunity for real abundance, but there's a need to think and look and observe so maybe they can learn something from this how is this person feeling about you right now ace of pentacles ace of pentacles abundance abundance so if this person were in a place where they were fully emotionally open and paying attention to what it was in front of them you offer real abundance a brand new beginning in stability let's get some clarity on that four of pentacles though because the four of pentacles is a block the four of pentacles 
if this person is just playing not to lose, this person can't even, this person won't be able to tell the best thing for them. This person has a lack of mental clarity. And again, that Ace of Pentacles again and the Sun. You actually very much would offer them happiness and so much stability. And they're having to learn from this situation. How is this person feeling about you right now? Um, this person is seeing you as very, very attractive, very assertive, very confident. Um, this person... may not be offering you enough. Because there's Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and we come in with the Page of Pentacles. Well, the Page of Pentacles is kind of giving us information about the a new beginning, uh, potentially. It's also like offering, it's like offering some stability, but very little. Um, it's just the very beginning, and there is such a need for there to be a real new beginning that this person may not be offering enough for somebody like, you know, who is confident and strong in themselves. Like this, this person, it's like they're having to learn some kind of lesson in regards to you. Maybe that if they want to have like they if they want to have they need to offer enough ace of pentacles fourth ace of pentacles that has come out i feel like this person really really needs to offer you an offer worth receiving and this person might just be giving you, instead of the whole thing, just, you know, like they're dipping their toe in the situation. And that's just not acceptable. In this situation, that's not going to lead any, to anything. It's just this person being unable to have clarity because they don't want to lose. Um, but this person is creating a potential self-fulfilling prophecy because if they don't invest what is necessary for somebody who's really worth it, then they won't receive what they can could have out of this situation. So yeah, this person is having to learn a lesson person is disorganized in their actions and this person is disorganized when it comes to what they want even though it could not be more obvious queen of pentacles it could not be more obvious that the stability that they might want is going to be with you and while they might offer you very little stability because they are in a place of not maybe wanting to put some energy towards you, wanting to put some energy someplace else, you know, not really being able to see what they want. Seven of Swords and the Letter. Yeah, I feel like this person isn't really being real with you or themselves. And it is causing issues within your connection. How are they feeling about you right now? Um, so they feel burdened by this. Or they're, no, it's not even that they feel burdened by this. They're holding on to something that isn't helpful 
towards their future or your future abundance. How are they feeling about you right now? I feel like they recognize that things are not moving forward. They do need to go through some kind of healing. They do like get and experience happiness with you, but they need to wake up and stop holding on to, you know, what doesn't serve really anybody here. Because if they give you this offer, you guys could have a very, very abundant connection. This person is very much staying confused and maybe even keeping their options open rather than dealing with the healing that will bring success into this connection. So you're being a very uh, strong lesson to this person. So this person can wake up, get some clarity, and be able to move forward and know what they want. Clarity on this Ten of Pentacles, King of Swords. I feel like this person will figure it out. This person, you know, even if they're really having trouble with this particular lesson, I mean, this person has the mental capacity. Um, but the question is, will they do it before you find somebody who doesn't need to do so much work to get there? Who knows what they want already? So how are they feeling about you right now? Create new and better habits. Yeah, this person is really having everything. I'm surprised, you know, this person's having everything laid out for them so that they can make new and better habits. And I feel like you would be a much better choice than maybe they have made. Good Get good at letting go of what doesn't suit you. Again, they're holding on to things that do not suit you, do not suit the connection. And there is a chance for some of you, maybe not all of you, that if this person isn't getting their stuff together, even though you're giving them so much opportunity and they would be lucky, you know, also know when it's time for you to release and have better habits regarding. Be fearless. So yeah, this person needs to master their fear in order to let go of what doesn't serve them and open up emotionally enough that they can have a connection. Um, and I feel like for some of you, this is a call to be fearless if this if you are offering the most amazing possible thing and this person just cannot figure out what they want how are they feeling about you right now eight of swords which is the prison of our own mind and we also have how others view the situation with This person may be afraid of change because of how people will see and perceive them. Maybe you're afraid of change because of how people will see and perceive you. But I feel like there's a movement like get used to letting go of what doesn't suit you and then we have peace. So I feel like if you need to make some kind of movement. Make sure you're moving it towards something that will bring you peace. But I haven't, I don't think I ever had a reading with that many Ace of Pentacles, that many offers of something real. And if, if somebody cannot figure out what they want, you, because they can't open up their heart, 
you know, and just look at the situation. Look at what is being offered to them. So, I mean, this, I feel like this is different for for some of you. Some of you, this person is learning the lesson and some of you are going to learn some lesson through this person towards your own fearlessness and moving towards your own peace. So I've got the clear quartz horse, so the truth, clarity is going to set you free and move you forward. We have the, the strawberry pie, so like home and comfort. And we have a steady, stable connection. So some of you, this person will figure out what they want and make the proper offer. Others of you, you may receive the proper offer, but it might not be from this person. And you may have to let go of somebody who's not holding on to you. No, pile number four. Excuse me does not want to sit on there. So my gorgeous darlings, pile number four, how are they feeling about you right now? How are they feeling about you right now? I've got the three of wands, the lovers. This person wants to manifest love into their life. They may want to specifically manifest you into their life. Uh, this person may have more options and there may be some kind of break or stagnation within your connection. I feel like for most of you it's more of a stagnation where things haven't been moving forward and it may have been like this for a very long time with the anchor. So if we look on the top the nine of swords there has been some fear that has been anchoring in the lack of movement in this connection. Um, and there is a choice for love here, but there is a need to discern and take action in order to manifest in that love. Clarity on the three of wants the fool. Yeah, somebody needs to make a decision to go after what they want and take the necessary risks and choose a connection here. Choose love. There is the ten of wands and the lovers and the bear. So with the bear, there is, you know, the bear can overcome what is in front of them. But the bear, I feel like somebody needs to be strong in choosing the connection that they want. Maybe because this stagnation is rather entrenched. And we can make, you know, we can think about making the choice towards movement but there's the need to actually do it, even if it means that there could be some kind of risk involved. Clarity on the two of wands, the lady and the sword. So the sword of truth, a new beginning and clarity, honesty, um, integrity. I feel like, especially because we have the Ace of Swords and it is on top of the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Cups is confusion and lack of clarity. It is possible that somebody in this connection really needs to be given the truth, given clarity in order for things to move forward. And it does seem like it might be the feminine person in this situation. Now, this does not necessarily mean that, you know, there is, you know, we all have different energies, um, but this is somebody that's the different, uh, 
because it's not really about genders, but it is about um, receptiveness, letting things. And there is somebody that needs to receive truth here in order for things to move forward. How are they feeling about you right now? Five of Swords. Um, they may see, you know, if you guys have had serious issues between the two of you, this person may, um, very much, um, see you as somebody that brings drama. Or if, you, yeah, if, if you didn't bring the drama and this person has brought the drama, it's like they, it's like they, it's, it's, this isn't what the energy moving forward can be. It's just an energy in which nothing and nobody wins. And it simply entrenches a lack of movement. We've got, that being said, pull three cards all at once. We've got the fool, which is taking that risk, trying something new. The Ten of Pentacles, which is what happens when you give somebody who is stable the right offer. But there's a need to, there's a need for emotional maturity here. There's a need to um, know what you want and or there's a need for this person to know what they want. Because if this person is being selfish and not helpful within the relationship or connection, or if this person is using... Yeah, I feel like if somebody is being un childish even in this connection in an emotional way it just doesn't move anything forward so there definitely is a new begin a uh, chance for a new beginning that ten of Pentacles is absolutely something can that can happen but somebody needs to take action bring some truth stop acting in a way that's really immature. But Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, so I feel like deep down this person knows that you guys can have a very strong, stable connection. Um, depending on, um, but depending on if they feel like you were really immature or were causing issues within the connection, they just might see you as somebody very immature. Um, or they need to take a risk and stop a certain behavior in order for things to move forward. So how are they feeling about you right now how are they feeling about you right now we have be honest about who and what makes you happy i feel like you're both taking moments to figure out what does make you happy who makes you happy continue to push barriers break down walls and question the norm i feel like whatever the norm has been in this connection, it's not um, going to lead to that Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles that can be a part of this connection, that stability that can be a part of connection. So there's a need to question because there is this love here, there is this possibility of stability. There is one person that's very in their self-worth and another person who might be far more um, being controlled by their emotions and possibly causing sabotaging things to happen within this connection. So, but I feel both people here feel the connection. 
but I feel like one person here needs to step up to it. So we have the 11 up there. Yeah, there, there definitely has been some kind of um, some kind of barrier. So I've got the hook. So I feel like it's not easy for either of you to let go of this connection. But there's a need for this connection to be steady, stable, reliable. Um, and one person in this connection does not see the other person as that because of serious issues that you guys have had in the past. We do have the heart. There are a lot of twists and turns that have happened in this connection. There is still love in this connection. There is still connection in this connection. Uh, but we also have the cat. Um, so maybe some person was not super avail emotionally available in this connection, which caused things to stay still. Or there's a need to have some kind of discernment because we had that seven. We have the two, uh, the, the lovers, but the seven of cups is right next to it. Seven of cups is a need for discernment because not, you may have other options, but not all of your options are going to pay off. Some are victory, some are pain. So I feel like there is an ability for there to be success here, but there is definitely somebody and somebody specific in this connection that needs to move things forward and decide to move things forward. Um, and this um, lack of movement has gone on for a very long time. Yeah, this there is somebody that needs to really make a decision make a choice and offer the appropriate appreciation to the other person. Um, and if, um, because until that happens, the other person may just see them as somebody who, you know, is drama and emotionally immature. So I hope that this helps you. Uh, if you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit um, 8,000 subscribers. So just make sure you are subscribed and you comment. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. If you do want to, to book with me, my email's in the description right below the timestamps. So just uh, make sure you use that to contact me. I do not solicit anybody in the description. If any, if that happens, it is not me. Uh, however, if you do leave comments, I will abs. Oh, I, I don't solicit anybody in the comments. My email is in the description. If you email me, I definitely check it all the time. Um, but I really deeply appreciate you all. Thank you so much.